What's going on guys, Zephanix here, and I'm going to go ahead and give my review on the Twisted Metal demo. Now, um, I'm doing this because someone actually went on my page and was like, Hey, Zephanix, why don't you do a video on um, Twisted Metal and the game is you know, that is coming out on PlayStation 3 exclusively? Now, of course, it was a PlayStation fanboy trying to troll me or whatever, so I'm going to do it, actually. Um, so, basically, the demo came out in three parts. Now, before I even get into those three parts, I looked online at my friends list, right? I'm looking at my friends list, I'm looking at Broken Games playing Battlefield 3 and other people playing this, and I'm looking at this, I'm like... Why is nobody playing this game? This is supposed to be an anticipated title. Why is no one playing this game? Is this a testament to how bad Sony is in terms of PR? You know, how they can't promote their games right? Or is this a testament to how bad the demo is? Now, I thought it at first. I'm like, well, I'm looking at the marquee on top. You got a marquee that's on the upper right-hand corner. It said, only thing it said about Twisted Metal was multiplayer demo available. Multiplayer demo available? What does that even mean? You know, is that talking about Twisted Metal or is that talking about... I don't know, Masturbation Club. I don't know what it's talking about. They didn't want to tell us. So, fair enough. Fail on Sony's side. Definitely a fail on Sony's side. So, I went ahead and played the game. Now, the game pretty much has three categories, as stated before. Offline, online, and um, training. So, I played the training first. Now, first part of the training taught me how to drive the car. Fair enough. Now, the second part of the training taught me how to play nuke mode. Now, it taught me how to play nuke mode with five screenshots and text. Now, the part that taught me how to, try, um, how to drive the car allowed me to drive the car. Dri allowed me to drive it. The part about the nukes um, only gave me screenshots and text. And they were vague. You know, I really didn't learn anything about nuke mode. As I understand it, I think you're supposed to take the boss of your team, the leader of your team, and throw him into a big doll or something like that. I'm not really sure. All jokes aside, though, it's not really original because I remember playing this type of mode on... um. What do you call it? Battlefield 2164, something how it goes like that. But yeah, it was a mode just like that. So anyway, um, I said fair, whatever. So I played online mode, or I thought I was going to play online mode. Online mode pretty much, um, let me put it this way. Out of 30 matches, I only got into one. And it still didn't even work. Out of the 30 matches, right, out of 29 matches, I got a network error every single match except for one. And it froze my PlayStation 3, guys. It froze my PlayStation 3. It froze my PlayStation 3. Yeah. <laughs> it froze it pretty much. I could not play it. I had to go ahead and reset it. And have you guys ever tried to reset a PlayStation 3 once it's frozen? It's not that easy. You got to sit there and press the power button. Hope it turns off or unplug it or figure out what to do. It's not really convenient. I got to wonder something. Does Sony actually put their demos through a quality test like Microsoft does? Because Microsoft puts all the demos through a quality test, you know. And some bugs do get through. But this big of a bug was like, what the hell? So, fair enough, whatever. I can still get all the love and I need out of single player mode, right? So, I went to play single player mode. Come to find out the damn thing only has team deathmatch and does not have nuke mode. So, let me get this straight. Nuke mode is pretty much exclusive to the, to the particular mode that does not work, you know? Really? Really? Like, what would possess you to release a demo like this? This was a disgusting, awful demo that needed to be shot. I don't even understand why you released a demo like this. So anyway, I played the offline um, played the offline mode, the only mode that apparently was available to me that was actually gameplay. And um, so this one, this is how it works pretty much. You get to choose between um, different cars and different people. The people that you choose don't really matter. I got to choose between the dolls, the holy men, the clowns. The cl all the clowns look like um, Sweet Tooth. Uh, what was it? And the, the clowns and the skulls, you know, which was like, you know, Jamaicans. So I got to play it, wanted to test it out. So um, the, who you choose really means nothing. But I went ahead and got to choose my car. And the car means something. Basically, um, different cars have different armor and different specials and different uh, speeds. So you have to choose which one's right for you. You know, the Crimson Dynamo or whatever it's called. That one has a lot of speed and a lot of power, but doesn't have a lot of um you know, armor. Um, the truck is vice versa. It has a lot of armor. It has some special, but it doesn't have a lot of speed. You know, it works like that. You know, you got to choose between a motorcycle, a helicopter, uh, two vans, and I think two cars. So there you go. I played the game. Um, in terms of the gameplay, it was all right, but it's nothing I haven't seen before on PlayStation 1. Seriously, the game is pretty much a rehashed version of PlayStation 1, which is the reason why I wanted to play the um, Nuke Mode, because I had a feeling the Nuke Mode was going to have something new to the franchise, not new to actual gameplay whatever because like i said before i played that particular nuke mode i played it on battlefield it plays just like battlefield um 2100 and something i forget exactly what the game is basically this is how you play it um except for um well no let me rephrase that because in this one you have to take the um leader and you have to drag the leader all the way and throw the leader into the actual doll the big doll whatever it's called where in battlefield you actually have to go to the um the titan and just blow it up which i think is a lot better more realistic but whatever you know um so long story short 
that's pretty much what the gameplay was pretty much that you drop around and shooting people um the thing is is that the ai was broken because of the fact that once the ai locked onto you there was no way for you to get you had to really work hard to get out of its sights like seriously i had to I, I was driving on around, running through buildings, trying to get around to it, and it did not really do too much for me because the guy was right behind me. So it was like, okay, that's not going to work out. And if you would go ahead and try to battle someone, you died way before they did. Like, seriously, I was in a truck. Uh, not a truck. Um, I was in the yellow car, which had you know pretty much normal armor, weapons, all, all the side, right? I was fighting against the crimson car, which pretty much had speed but no um, armor. He won. How the hell does a guy with no armor who's not even going fast, who I was totally locked onto the whole entire time, beat someone else who had more armor than him? You know, it doesn't make any sense. You know, and I'm sitting there blasting them. And it's because of this. And I realized this. The guy never ran out of missiles. You're on a limited supply of missiles while the, P while the computer has unlimited supply of missiles. But you're on a limited supply. But he has unlimited. He's sitting there blasting me with missiles back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I have like three missiles. Really? Anyway, I'm going to end the video like this. I don't want to waste some more time like this. Long story short, what I think about the, the game, I think it was utter trash. At least the demo was. Um, the gameplay, as far as I can tell, was strictly from a PlayStation 1 type of game. It was awful. I don't know what to tell you. You know? Like, seriously. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. You know, I was I, I was going to say Xbox 360 players really aren't missing anything when they come and play this game. But then again, they can go ahead and um, throw in, um, what do you call that, um, Halo Reach. And it has a kind of a version of Twisted Metal right there. And in fact, if you guys actually play Halo Reach, um, it's actually better than Twisted Metal. If you actually, um, you know, make a track correctly, make a track, go ahead and, um, you know, put thing on. It's actually better. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you. But um, yeah. That's pretty much all I got to say about the game. You guys have a good night. Zephonix now. Oh, um, would I buy a game? Yes. If it was $19.99 and I got it on a discount. Seriously. It would have to be less than $19.99 for me to buy this game because it's trash. I suspect that this game is going to drop um, off the, you know, drop off the charge pretty fast. But then again, I mean, hey, whatever's whatever. You guys have a good night. Zephonix out.